next question, the member for Sardia Lampton. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, uh, thank you, Speaker. Speaker, there's a growing interest in geological carbon capture and storage. To say, and this is a question to the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. Sorry. There's growing interest in geological carbon capture and storage to safely store carbon dioxide in deep bedrock formations. Storing carbon dioxide deep underground is one way of reducing the impact of greenhouse gases from high emitting sources like heavy industrial activity. In response to evolving energy needs and priorities, Ontario businesses have been interested in pursuing new underground storage opportunities. According to a discussion paper posted by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry, there is a potential for enabling carbon storage in Ontario. Several areas throughout our province might have the right mix of geological conditions for storage capabilities. Speaker, can the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry please elaborate further on carbon storage technology and its environmental and economic benefits? The reply, the Minister of Red Tape Production. Good, I want to thank my colleague, of course, the member from Sarnia Lambton, for that important question and for his hard work on behalf of his constituents. Carbon storage technology that involves inj injecting carbon dioxide deep underground rock formations for permanent storage. You take the carbon dioxide emitted from power plants, from steel mill, or any other industrial process that you can think of and capture it, Mr. Speaker. Instead of having the carbon dioxide released into the air, this process ensures that it never gets a chance to be released in the air. The strategy is allowing us to develop a self-sustaining sector in Ontario, create local jobs and attract investments while reducing greenhouse gas emissions, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I think all of us in this House, whether you're on this side or that side of the House, agree that we Response. need to do our part to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and protect the environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A supplementary question. Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Minister for that answer. In fact, uh, it's not in here, but Sarnia Lampton's got the right geological formations for that kind of carbon capture and storage. So I'm very interested in that. Speaker, exploring the implementation of carbon storage is certainly a significant step in helping to introduce, reduce Ontario's greenhouse gas emissions and in producing low carbon hydrogen. Along with environmental benefits that can be achieved, this technology also provides opportunities to increase Ontario's competitiveness and supports job creations. Ontarians are counting on our government to implement measures that will help support economic growth, productivity while ensuring environmental protection. Speaker, can the minister? Uh, of natural resources and forestry, please elaborate on what action this government is taking to enable underground geological storage of carbon as we move forward. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank my colleague for that important question once again. Just last Wednesday, as part of the Less Red Tape, Stronger Ontario Act 2022, we proposed an amendment to the oil, gas, and Salt Resources Act to remove the restrictions related to carbon storage in our province. This initial step, of course, signals to the industry that our government is serious in our intention to support geologic carbon storage and that we are taking a phased and thoughtful approach to regulate the activity. We know that carbon storage is new to Ontario and we want to ensure the activity is undertaken responsibly with measures in place that make sure that it is done in a way that is safe and effective. This ambitious plan that we have announced as part of the Less Red Tape, Stronger Ontario Act will help Respond. our efforts to reduce Ontario's emissions and cut red tape for businesses and industry while safeguarding the people of Ontario and our environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.